In this tutorial, we'll delve into an essential Excel skill, limiting the scroll area. This is a handy technique to control the visible portion of your worksheet, enhancing your data presentation and user experience. Let's explore two methods to achieve this seamlessly. If you want to define a scroll range in your current worksheet, you just need to set scroll area properties in VBA application window. Just do the following steps. Open your Excel workbook and then click on Visual Basic Command under Developer tab, or just press Alt plus F11 shortcut. Then the Visual Basic Editor window will appear. Click View menu in VBA window and select Properties window to show Properties pane. Locate scroll area property and enter the range that you want to limit the worksheet to. Such as $A $30, $C45. Press Enter key on your keyboard and then close the properties. For a more dynamic approach, let's explore the second method involving VBA, Visual Basic for Applications, Code. This technique provides greater flexibility in customizing your scroll area. Follow these steps to implement the solution. For example, if you want to set the scroll area A30, C45 on Sheet 2, you can do the following steps. Open your Excel workbook and then click on Visual Basic Command under Developer tab, or just press Alt plus F11 shortcut. Then the Visual Basic Editor window will appear. Click Insert to Module to create a new module. Paste the below VBA code into the code window. Then clicking Save button. Back to the current worksheet, then run the above Excel macro. Click Run button. By mastering these methods, you gain precise control over what your audience sees, improving the focus and clarity of your Excel workbooks. Whether you opt for the simplicity of Excel options or the customization power of VBA, limiting the scroll area is a valuable skill in your Excel toolbox. If you found these insights valuable, don't forget to subscribe for more Excel mastery. Thanks for watching, and be sure to share this video with others navigating the intricacies of data management in Excel. Your support is appreciated.